Hello Stampers, it's Amy with Stamping Magic. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have for you a Father's Day card. Could be made into a birthday card, depending on what sentiments you use. And we're going to be making this one. I really love how this has turned out. I love the colours. This is blueberry bushel with crushed curry. And I think it's really, really pretty. And inside we've got Father's Day sentiment and some of those lovely bubbles I love using. So let's get started. For this card you'll need the bubble over stamp set and matching dies. You'll also need the hardwood background stamp and I'm going to be using a retired stamp set, nailed it, just for the Father's Day sentiment. I've looked through all my stash and I cannot find a Happy Father's Day sentiment which is crazy. This is literally the only one. So I will be using a retired set, but you can use absolutely any sentiment you want if you want to make it for a birthday rather than a Father's Day or if you've got different Father's Day sentiments you'd like to use, go ahead and use that. But I'm going to be using this one today. You also need the three quarter inch punch. For inks, we're going to be using blueberry bushel, crushed curry and early espresso. And you're going to need a couple of sponge dabbers because we're going to be um, sponging the edges of our bottles. Okay, there are a few pieces I've already die cut just so it keeps the video nice and short for you. So I've got, I think this is early espresso, early espresso um, for the two bottles. I have got crushed curry for their labels, which... So I've used these two and these two. I've used this one to cut out the little bubbles. That is also a stamp. And I've used these cute little bottle caps and some silver foil to cut out a bottle top. Okay, other bits you'll need you'll need a square of very vanilla and the measurements for these I will put on my blog which is in the description bar below and I've also used these square framelits to make a nice little kind of frame and that's out of blueberry bushel you need some very vanilla cardstock um, you need two of these actually this one's for the outside and you also need one for the inside for your card You'll need some crumb cake cardstock and some blueberry bushel in a top folding card base. You are also going to need some whisper white scrap and a smaller piece of very vanilla and a smaller piece of the blueberry bushel. Okay, to start with I'm going to use the background stamp, the hardwood background stamp, and I'm going to get some early espresso. And just ink that up. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just gives that nice wood grain to the card so if there is patches missing it doesn't matter that could just be part of the design so place that down and that is your background so I'll clean that one off later Okay, so I'm going to put some layers together on here first. So using your Tombow, I am just putting the very vanilla down first. And you want to leave a nice border for that one. Like that. Then you get your crumb cake. And 
And again, you want to leave a nice border on that one. I'm just going to flip that over so I can make sure that's properly adhered. Okay. So I'm going to put that to one side and bring in my two bottles and my two labels. So I'm going to start with Early Espresso and a little sponge dubber. You could put the ink onto your block and do it that way or you can just dab straight from your ink pad. Um, it's entirely up to you, your preference. So you're going to ink up your sponge dabber and just along the edges you're going to just brush that and you'll get, I don't know how well you can see that, I really apologise for the light because it's really bad at the moment. It's kind of sunny, really sunny but cloudy. So you get a kind of dark around the edges kind of feel and look. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, just around, you will get a bit inky, that's fine. It will wash off. Okay, so we're done with the early espresso for now. I'm going to bring back some crushed curry and another sponge dobber. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the labels. It just gives your image a bit of depth, um, adding a bit of um, shading, so your image just does not look as flat. And we'll get rid of this. So bring in our Whisper White scrap piece and some blueberry bushel. I'm going to stamp two of these kind of star circle label kind of pattern. blueberry bushel for now and this is where you bring in your three quarter inch punch which is just the perfect size for these ones so that's one that's two move that over and we're going to put all this together so one of these on the centre of the crushed curry label. And another one on the other one. Doesn't look quite straight, never mind. Okay, and then we're going to put these onto our bottles. one on here and on the bigger bottle you want to put your foil bottle cap I think that looks so cool okay Okay, now bringing in these elements, what we want to do with this piece is, this is going to remain square, but we're going to pop this under this corner, so it goes under, over, under, over, so, ooh, like that. And then we're just going to want to put a little bit of Tombow underneath this bit here, if I can get it out. Okay. Try and get that as square as possible. And the same for this side. And that is down as well. Okay. And then this is going to get raised with some dimensionals, which I've lost. Here we go. So that will go there like that. 
I actually totally forgot to mention, you will need um, the You're the Best sentiment from the Label Me Pretty stamp set. I've just used this for a workshop, so it came away from the pile for all the goodies for this. So, let's get that on this block for now. I know this block is way too big, but it's to hand. Okay, so some crushed curry for this bit. So bringing in your two smaller squares, so you need a small one of very vanilla and one that's just a little bit bigger in blueberry bushel. This is so much easier to do. If you stamp it, then cut it. <laughs> and that's actually not bad. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Okay, so we need to put this onto the blueberry bushel. You can, of course, stamp your sentiment just straight onto here. Um, on my first card, I actually made a mistake and decided to cover it up with this and liked the look of it, so kept it. So, yeah, sometimes just go with the flow. You can, of course, put your Happy Father's Day sentiment on the front as well. Um, but because the only one I've got is quite a large one, I wanted to put that more in the in the inside okay so we're going to put this one down here and you want to get it nice and central uh, about there okay now to glue our bottles on so what I'm going to do is figure out the placement so probably there. I'm going to put a dimensional on the bottom of that one and Tombow on the top bit. And then that will sit there. If you need to put a block on it just to help it adhere a bit better, go for it. And this one, you want to put kind of Tombow in the top corner. And you want to put dimensionals down the other side. So that might come down a bit more. Okay. And this one's a little bit lower. Okay. Okay, and the last bit for the front of the card is you're going to bring in your, your little tiny bubble cutouts. I think tweezers probably be, be easier for this. And what I did for this is I got the die just so I could figure out roughly a placement and I think I had it a bit like that okay so then you want to put put some glue dots um, down where they're going to go and this big one is kind of hanging off the edge of this so you're going to want to get a small dimensional these are the tiny mini ones and put that at the back of that one and then Place that down like so.
Okay, and that is our card done. Of course, if you're going to um, decorate the inside, all I've done for that is put some very vanilla down, stamped my Happy Father's Day sentiment in Blueberry Bushel, and used the little bubble stamps in crushed curry to decorate that. You can decorate how you like. You can have bottles coming up one side. Um, you could have your Happy Father's Day sentiment on the front instead of this, um, depending on the size of yours. But that is our card for today, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Any comments below are much appreciated also. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.